Hello, everyone. Tom from EverystepCalculus.com, EverystepPhysics.com. This is a calculus problem regarding domain and range of graphing functions and graphs. Let's do it. Index 8 to get to my menu. We're going to scroll down to graphing. Or no, domain. Where is it? There it is there. Choose that one. And I also ask you in case in, in your test or your homework that you have a an actual graph that you have to find the domain and range of. So I do some of those for you too. Uh, but here no. We're gonna just have a function. You have to press alpha before you enter anything in these entry lines here. Alpha. And we're gonna do the square root of three minus four times x. I always show you what you've entered. You can change it if you want. I say it's okay. And we find that by, you can have a square root, you can have a zero under the square root, but you can't have a negative sign under the square root. So this has to be p equal to or greater than zero the function under the in the within the parentheses of the square root so, uh, square sign radical sign so x is less than or equal to three quarters this is opposite once you divide by a negative sign on both sides of course this three here when you solve this problem of inequality this goes over here and becomes a minus three so you got a minus four on this side minus three and you divide it up and it turns out to be this here so the range is all the real numbers from minus infinity to x less than or equal to three quarters or minus infinity to three quarters in this notation here the bracket means it includes three quarters the range is equal to includes three quarters and all of infinity pretty neat huh? every step calculus.com don't try to pass calculus without these programs believe me it's not as easy these will help you immensely have a good one